using imagery to bring out your best sleep. One of the things we want to build into our pre-sleep routine is to have a image of some either a comfortable room, what I'm doing, something that's going to help me relax and calm down. So as we talked about in our relaxing under pressure worksheets, we talked about having a relaxation image. You might want to use that or you might want to come up with something totally different. So one of the things that I would think of is a bear hibernating for the winter. And so I would just get into that feeling like what must it feel like for a bear to sleep for the whole winter and just being out, completely out and dead to the world. So I would build that up. I would think about the bear. Okay, for some reason in my head, it's a gray bear. Its mouth is wide open. It's just out for the count. Like you can't wake the bear no matter what's happening. Everything's going on. You hear the wind, you hear animals, and this bear is just out for the count. Now that works for me. You gotta do what works for you. What might be a peaceful image for you while you're sleeping? Use that imagery and really get into the character. Like in my mind, I'm, th I'm really thinking, What's going on in the bear's mind? Or more, what's not going on in the bear's mind? What's going on around the bear? What does the cave look like? And all this kind of different stuff. So I'm painting the picture of this imagery of this bear that's hibernating for the winter. That's gonna be my image that I'm gonna build into my sleep routine. So as I finish that sleep routine, I wash my face, brush my teeth, I organize my room, I did my deep breathing, took my 20 deep breaths, I said my prayers that I say every night, and now I'm thinking about the bear hibernating for the winter that doesn't care about anything. And I'd even remind myself the words that I would use. I don't care about anything that happens in the world. It's nothing, no, there's nothing more for me to do. There's nothing more for me to do. I don't care about anything and I'm out for the count. So build that into you, build in that imagery. So it's, it's the words, but even more powerful than those words for me, that bear encapsulates all those words. So what's your peaceful image? What's that peaceful image look like? Take a moment to write that down. So you're now going to take that image to the next level by having something tangible. So for me, if I'm picturing the bear hibernating for the winter, I might want to have a small action figure or a picture in my room of that, of that bear. It might be something big, it might be something small, but I want to be able to see that in my mind. So whenever I pass by that little action figure of the bear, I'm like, okay, that's going to be me tonight when I go to sleep. Or if I see the poster on the wall or the picture, that reminds me of that bear. So if something in your room that reminds you of that. And now if you're traveling to competitions, it's sometimes helpful to bring that image with you. So if I had a little action figure of a bear that reminds me of that peaceful image, I might bring that with me to competitions. So the night before my hotel room, I could build that in. So write that down. What's a tangible image? What's a tangible example of that image that you have for your peaceful sleep? Write it down. Practice it, use it every single night. Mindset makes the difference. And that's a wrap for today's podcast. I'm Gene Zanetti from Wrestling Mindset. Make sure you check out our website, wrestlingmindset.com. Get our ebook. Make sure you get that ebook. Great information represents some of the best information that we have. Lessons that we've learned from some of the top wrestlers in the world. Lessons that we've learned from our own experience and the best that research can provide. Get the ebook, wrestlingmindset.com. Also, as an